and we show it's dead. He's the king of spades also and Yes, you were clearly and you were a good one. Go for the head. You're not going to check if you really kill them. You helped her, uh, Aguni, and also Alice. Okay, some people resort won some games on their own. You have to imagine that they created a big part of it and all. More mountains? More mountains which are not supposed to be there? <laughs> okay. See, you're telling him that because he needs to have up. You know it. It's the same for you. Oh, please, 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 this boy needs to survive. <laughs> That's a good one. 
I hope so. Checkmate? Oh no! Eh? You're not gonna do anything to that king, uh, king kid, too. It means that they're all gonna have to protect him. can switch they're all gonna want to switch teams it's not a question of physical things it's a question of popularity you know they could be like yes yes press my button I want to be on your team Because their team is in majority, they want to stay there, to stay blue. But in two rounds, for example. That plan is great. Again, all of these environments, these arenas. I'm not sure. She's defending her teammate. No, he doesn't want to join you anymore. His team, his new team, wins. Better to be alive in than to to risk your life out. It's not a life. You will survive, but you won't live. I couldn't do it. Give up on the kid, I couldn't do it. Why? Do you know him? I don't think so. No, you don't know him. If you want him, you have to pass by her. Uh, another episode? Okay. That was a long episode, so many stuff happened. First, I want to say that this episode didn't really improve my mood, but it helped me to think about something else, and my mood didn't impact my way to watch it.
But right, you know, after what I told you during the intro, I was afraid that my bad mood would impact my way to watch this show. Not the case. That's pretty great. This show, so many things happen during it. You know, since episodes now of this season 2, I have the impression that we have a part of a game during one episode, we have something about the characters during the same episode, we have characters who are progressing a little into their own journeys of this season, but we don't have fully any of these situations. Like, we don't have one episode which is only about a game. We don't have one episode which is only about discussions between characters. I have the impression that it's a different construction of episode than during the season one. It's not that it's bothering me, but I'm not sure that it's the right choice for a show like that because it's giving the impression that these games are not so important, like we're beginning something during one episode, we're finishing it during the next one. You know, like, yes, it's feeling like they're not so important, the games anymore, like you don't want to build your show around it and that's great. But to build things like that, I'm not feeling the pressure like I'm supposed to feel. At least, I mean, I felt the pressure for the first game, you know, against the King of Clubs. But for example, against the Jack of Hearts, I didn't feel that pressure. And it began like that, you know, like they began to build their episodes like that with that game, you know, with Shishia game. And right there, I think that they're gonna do the same for that Queen of Spades. Like, at least they're using the same way to do it. The first part of the game during one episode, the second part of the game during the next one. Like, at the end, that cliffhanger, because our guys are really into a bad position, like it was the case for Shishia. At the end of the first part of his game, he was into a really bad position, and then during half of the episode, half of the next episode, he managed to return the situation, to switch the situation, and in fact the next episode was not only about that, and it was about also the rest. Do you understand what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the next episode, the episode 6, first part of the next episode, it's gonna be to finish that game to find a way to win it and all of that and the rest of the episode it's gonna be about something else totally maybe also about another character because now that we have a lot of main characters and now that they are not together and they are all leaving something important it can be the case you know like they can really play with that during a long time the writers I mean and again I'm not mad at it I'm not against it but I think that it's not helping the viewers to feel really the pressure of the games totally. I think that the writer for this season, by building things like that, they wanted to play more with the cliffhangers than really building attention during the game. Do you understand what I mean? It's not the same way to, to write stuff. Like, it's not big things happening during the game, big reveals and all. It's playing with the cliffhangers, with the fact that uh, the viewer wants to see what's next. It's also the same logic behind it, like first part, you lose a lot, second part, you find a way to win. If they are doing that all along the season, it's gonna become not annoying, but a little too much like to have that each time. Again, they didn't do that for the King of Clubs, so maybe it's only gonna be right there for these two games? We'll see. The Jack of Spades, we didn't see that game, but it happened. I mean, we saw a part of it. Quina, she won, that's great, but she needs to rest right there, like, you're not into good shape, like, uh, you know what I meant by that. You need to find also Shishia to be reunited with someone at some point. I'm glad that Alisu he found Uzagi again. The fact that right now they're gonna want to defend that kid, I'm glad and I want them to do that. I don't want them to choose to go on the red team. 
even more because for what I understood even if you survive because you're on the red team you know on the majority team okay you're gonna survive but you're not gonna be able to get out of that game you're still gonna be there all along you know for other games and all like you don't want that again for me it's a question of surviving or really living and I think that during this episode Usaki she understood that when she had that memory coming back about his dad saying that <laughs> dying into the mountains it would be good enough for him and that also Usagi she had to promise him to still live a full life I think that it began to work a little on her and after that to have that kid in front of her and to be forced to talk to that kid you know to give him up about the future to give him a reason to, to continue to fight to to live because that's what your parents would want you to do like clearly Usagi it's the same things that we can say to her so I think that she un she understood things, you know, with the situation, with the kid, with that reminder. That's great. I was really surprised to see a kid into that world, that big game, because it means that, yes, he fought already a lot of games, you know, and he survived, uh, and he saw a lot of bad stuff. And you know, right there, I'm talking only about the second part of the episode because the first part of the episode, it was about Aguni. <laughs> I had to think about it to focus. Aguni, the fact that he's haunted by Atta. I think that it was Atta, his name. His friend, his former friend. And yes, you're feeling guilty about what happened. You're haunted by him. I think that it's not like he wants to change, he wants to have a second chance, like I think that he's not there yet but the fact is that he was all by himself, that he met that girl and maybe it's just to be just himself with her and in fact they became, you know, to be friends like she said that he was cool, she, she's trying to protect him, like he's trying to protect her that relationship seems interesting and could evolve into a love relationship I, I'm feeling it like that but I think that it might be your second chance, you know Agony I wouldn't be surprised to have a redemption arc for this character and I wouldn't be against it if it's well done, you know if it takes time and all of that why not? We had also all of that story about that girl, you know that memory about her old life how she wants into this new world that thing about her first game like we saw the beginning of her first game but also the end of it how she survived even if she didn't have her leg anymore the fact that her mother the story about her mother but her mother also saved her in a way like you say that she's a bitch you say that she's a cheater that you hate her and all of that but at the end of the day your subconscious you know used the face of your mother to tell you to jump, you know, to save yourself so you don't hate your mother that much in fact we saw also what happened with the medic, the fact that he raped her, you know, surely to have that help for her leg so see we had so many stuff during this episode to meet that girl, to know about her past, to know about her first game what happened to her, to have the things about Agony and the fact that he's haunted, to have things, you know, against the King of Spades, to have all of that fight against him, to have Uzagi who met this boy on her own, to have something about Quina who fought the Jack of Spades on her own, to have Hey, so many stuff like to have the beginning of this new game, the explanation of this new game, to have already the first part of this new game. Like truly a lot of things happened. Did I feel it, you know, like it was a long episode? I have to say that yes, I felt it. But again, I'm blaming a little the construction of the episode because I think that beginning the game during this episode, having the end of the game during this episode, I would feel so much pressure, I would be so much involved into the game that I wouldn't 
see the time passing when for how it was built the fact that we are changing our rhythm a lot during the episode like that flashback and that memory about the first game of that girl it's a slow rhythm in fact the fight against the king of spades it's a quick rhythm, a fast rhythm after that you know something with Usagi we are slowing down again the beginning of the new game we have stuff being fast again like really the change of rhythm during the episode because of that way to build the episode because of these different moods because of these different things I understand why but I'm not sure that for a show like that it's really interesting to sell your games right and to make us feel enough pressure I wouldn't have played with the cliffhangers but really more with the game itself and they are so good these games that I really think that they are enough you don't have to create cliffhangers to to make us feel pressure and tension okay I'm gonna stop this review right now I'm gonna watch the two next episodes today I really hope that I'm gonna have the time no matter what for you it's gonna be on another video so it's all for you for today and it's all for me for now so bye for now Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.